frustrated you on you is that you become frustrated. Because you're trying to earn something that's been freely given. Everything that's been promised you is freely given. Can you see what I'm saying? So don't try, if you're smoking cigarettes and you get a promise that God's going to give you a car, it ain't, ain't going to change if you stop smoking cigarettes. God is not, if you, I, I suggest you stop, it's going to kill you eventually. <laughs> But it's not going to make the car come to you no sooner. Are you not getting the message I'm giving you? If he promised it to you, and your whole life is based on the promises of God, that's where faith comes from, the promises of God. If you get a promise, don't go about trying to qualify for it, because God sees that as you didn't believe the gift of salvation in the first place. He has made us mean. We partake this in the heavens and the saints of life. For by one offering, he has perfected forever. The people I talk to know this. I'm, a, I'm on a mission with this here. This is the truth that I suffer for. And I'm on a mission with this because you can't deny what's in that Bible. And the church wants to deny it because they can't explain it. And they can't explain it or they won't be popular if they do. Yeah, y'all are here, but you can't deny what's already written. You, you can't qualify one person, disqualify the next based on what's written. Let me tell you something. I heard something that said, man, enjoy your Every day of class that you didn't do something to enjoy, you missed it. You're not going to go backwards. You sit around feeling sorry for yourself trying to fix everybody. And, oh, God help me. Can I talk to you all? I'm trying to quantify everybody's sight. And don't do what you want to do and enjoy your life, but at least they like me. And they don't like you. That's the whole point. They got you stuck trying to seek their approval and God's already approved you. You already been made to be accepted and to be loved. Why not do something before you go to bed tonight to enjoy yourself? Why, 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 why not take down all these standards? Yeah. Oh, they cut up me in here. I'm over my time, but I gotta preach it anyhow. Why do you have all those standards in your life that you are living in trapped? Don't you believe in salvation? I mean, Pastor Andrew gave me a testimony last Monday night at the meeting. I thought she'd won the lottery. She had a testimony. I said, well, well, she, well, she shouldn't have told me because they're pray, pray for me. I mean, I told her I won't say nothing but pray for me. So. <laughs> so she said, you know, I invited somebody to church Sunday. And, and after the, the message, they, they offered me a gift to pay for my trip. But they need to go my That's the best of money. All you who hate you, go back. Everybody who has to go out back and give God praise. Amen. So enjoy what God's given you. Amen. I'm good. Enjoy it. Stand up with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use Panetta for five minutes. <laughs> my child. What Bernetta represents to you and I is somebody who believed God. Somebody who, in spite of everything that was going on around her, in spite of all the rejection and the gossip, she made a decision, I'm going to believe God. And, and what she did was now, what she did was every instruction that came down and the wonder it's kind of in that place too, but I see it kind of that them dogs get, and somebody say amen, and them dogs get. But but I saw, I saw Gwyneth obey instructions at her detriment. You don't hear what I just said? Because I asked, she did. I'm going to give you the testimony about a car. A couple of years ago, I said to you all, the Lord said, will you get your income tax? So this amount, or so that was the I said the whole check, right? No, the whole check. The only person I gave was her. Some of you all gave a thousand dollars, something like that, but the only person I gave the whole income check was her. I went to, I don't know why I'm doing this tonight, but I'm talking here. Stay focused. I went to my wife and said, Can you believe we never did that? And she don't have no car. She all in the rain, catching the bus with her children, trying to get the praise game practice. Getting them get up. And she sold the income tax and then go buy a car. So I told Fran, what we can do, we can go buy a car. I said, I'll buy it for her. Because she needs to have transportation. Right then my finances got attacked. I couldn't buy it. Wow. 
Get out to the preacher. You ain't the only one. But you know what happened? The Lord said that this thing is going to change your life. Try to get what I'm saying, okay? Please try to get what I'm saying. Shut down all your judgments. Shut down all your religion. And try to receive something that can change your life. The word that came down from that pulpit, but if you sow this, it's going to change your life forever. Y'all remember that? Here is somebody who has been here for like 13 years that tried school a thousand times and failed every time. Somebody say amen. amen. She dropped out every single time. God help me. Yeah, yeah. But now, she is certified that for real. She has a car on the network. She has but them other times that she go up and do an income tax, it's been about two months, and, you know, we, they, you know. <laughs> She has, the, the enemy attacked her in the air of her children, and watch what happened when I told her, hold on, kid. It worked out better for her. Amen. Because they put it through systems that taught her how to be a better parent. You all understand what I'm saying? I wish somebody understand. I know how to do it. I have talked to somebody. Because this ministry is getting to shift in the place of sacrifice. The Lord told me sacrifice plus obedience e e equals results. Amen? She did this, and the only person who did it, her life has dramatically changed. She met a whole year, another year without the car. But now she has a car that works. That she's not ashamed to drive. The floor ain't falling out. Water ain't coming through the roof like all the other cars she used to buy. Someone say amen. You don't got to go meet on the corner to get her, give her a jump, baby. I'm, I'm proud of you, baby. What it was, though, what I'm trying to teach you, she heard truth, she, she trusted, and released the check, and her life has changed dramatically. But what did it start with? I see some of y'all shut me down, but I'm still going to do this. What did it start with? Her willingness to trust God through her apostle. At the place of sacrifice. Can you imagine you and your children getting better, and you plan to get your check. Some of y'all didn't get because y'all need shoes. But how are children getting better? And the preacher said, the Lord said, if you sow your check, it's going to change your life. You know what kind of faith that takes? Amen. Some of y'all sitting right here didn't show up because you need furniture. And if you would have sold, you would have had a house today. But just give me an example. I don't know. I'm talking to somebody. Can you ever see this? I'm trying to tell you there's no greater sacrifice you can make to God that He won't respond to you. But anytime you're going to get something greater than God, you got to do something great too. There has to be an avenue of trust before Him. There has to be sacrifice. I got off a drug through sacrificial seed sowing. They would ask for five hundred dollars by half an hour. Write a check and go borrow the money. Amen. Sacrificial. Can I do this? Can I talk? I, 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 no, no. Sit up, sit up. I'm going to take five minutes to talk to somebody who want to hear me. You can choose to hear me or you can choose not to. You're in lack. You need change in your life. In God's kingdom, the only way out is to obedience, seed, and soul. Amen. I, I know that you always see. I know that you listen to it, but you don't get very and better doing it. You have to keep doing it every time it's asked for. That's the way we did it. Every time it's asked for, you got to do it. I'm going to say it again. Every time it's asked for, it may be a sacrifice, but you got to do it. If you want to change the status of your life through the kingdom system, it's going to be through the seed sowing. If you're looking for a harvest in your life, it's going to be through seed sowing. Why would you trust God? Why am I talking about this, Father? Thank you. Why would you trust God with your heart, but not trust Him with your money? Oh. Why would you trust Him with your life? Oh, Auntie Father, I surrender all. But don't trust Him with your money. These are arguments, crazy arguments from the devil. Why would you do that? Don't think about that. You don't love the man, but you give him all your money? You don't love the woman, but you can give him all your money? No. You give to somebody all your heart. You know how many marriages break up because people offer their heart for not their money? That's the truth. It does. It happens. Financial situations are the biggest cause of divorce in this country. 
not not infidelity, finances. Because people say, I love you, but you're not getting my money. And that's the same thing that we're doing in church. Lord, I love you, Lord. I surrender all things. The Lord said, bring a hundred dollars in. I love you, Lord. I surrender all things. I want you to 